Howdy folks, Tornado Twins here and get ready for a super packed tutorial because I'm trying to make the most out of the 10 minutes that YouTube gives us as a limit of uh, length of videos that we can upload. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've done so far. Um, I've added some turrets that will shoot at us um, and I've added some more realism to the way our character moves and I've added some sound effects um, and a health slash live bar that doesn't work yet but it's there and there's some fire effects here and there let me show you real quick don't be um don't be surprised by the by the sound effects here they're really loud and chunky but you know as you can see we have some turrets firing at us and then our worm is behaving way more uh realistic um as you can see with the other body parts following him Okay, so um, let's try and get as far as we can get in this uh, 10 minutes to um, replicate what you've seen here just now. First things first, let's start with our main character. Um, click on your uh, worm and then um, in the 3D view hit the F key to focus on it. And what we need to do to change the uh, way it looks and feels because right now uh, in your game it should look like this and the, you know, the worm is... Um, rotating around uh, in its entirely it's not looking good S in some cases if you go backwards or upwards then it, the worm flies up it had, this has to do with a collision problem so very ugly not exactly what we're looking for so pause your game and then um, select your uh, worm character and then drag body part one and body part two out of the worm group they need to be separate from that okay now next in your project view do a search for the smooth follow script. Now, if you remember part two of this of this series, you remember that we've put this one on the camera as well. So don't ask me um, if I can copy paste the script because it already comes with the Unity. So just grab that and drop it on top of body part one and drop it on part of body, body part two. Now, when you play the game right now, still nothing happens except for the fact that you know our circle um, now moves by itself because we separated the other two parts but we've put a uh, script on there that makes it follow something however we have not set the targets yet so for body part one which is the biggest one uh, we need to set the target to follow is the worm so drag the worm right on top of target and then for body part two we it needs to follow body part one so uh, drag body part one on top of target for body part two okay there's that now now when you run the game you'll notice something very strange and which is you can only see the first part of the character and you're thinking whoa wait a minute did we just say it to uh, follow this part yes we did but by default the variables are very far away so if we click body part one you can see that the distance is 10 meters that's a very long um, that's a very long distance so let's change that to one and then the height is, should be exactly the same as the height of the other objects. So let's change that to zero. And then I'm going to turn, turn the damping into six for both height and rotation. Okay, then we need to do the same thing for body part two. Change the distance to one meter. Then the height to zero because it needs to be the same. And then the damping to six for both. Okay, now when we run our game you will see that it is following the worm a little s more smoothly, a little more closely. And the last body part is a little jittery here and there, so we can change settings a little bit. I mean, for the biggest one, let's do the distance a little longer, like a 1.3-ish. Um, and for the second one, make the distance a little less, like a 0 0.9. Play our game, see what happens. Eh, pretty good. Once the camera is really positioned behind our character it looks a lot better than it used to um, before so next let's get to making some turrets and some um, some things that actually shoot our main character okay next um, one of the files that comes with this tutorial is a simple turret or a small turret and um, we will use that to shoot um, at our character I'll show you really quick what it looks like um, it is a very simple uh, model and um, I'm not the best modeler in the world so don't kill me for it but it basically comes with a barrel a uh, main body that's supposed to rotate the barrel and then a base that it stands on okay so three objects um, are saved in this file so um, when you have the file unzipped um, drag it on top of your uh, project in your project view and uh, it will import it right there now it's called small turret so let's use that 
uh, when you click it you can see what it looks like in 3d a little bit there um, and make sure you check calc um, I'm sorry generate colliders so that it is actually we can have collision with this character and then hit the apply button and this will make our um, this character or this um, enemy ready for scripting because it doesn't have any animations or any other materials for that matter. So that's pretty easy. Next, drop it into your view and um, let me set the uh, X, Y, and Z to zero, zero just for now so I can uh, see it a little bit better. Let me move the worm around so that that one is not bothering us in our view because we have some uh, work to do with, uh, with this thing right here. With this turret let me move the body parts right there okay so um, our turret comes in three parts as I've said before but right now all three parts are part of the uh, small turret but actually what I want is I want the top two parts the barrel and the base I want those to rotate because they need to aim at our character before it fires so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the base off and I'm gonna drag it out of this group and this will lose the prefab connection which is okay because we're gonna make a new prefab okay so let um, now let's make a new prefab so go game object create empty and let's call this one small turret and then drag all the loose parts in there the small turret part itself as well as the base so now when you open up the small turret the base is no longer part of this group but they're all part of small turret so that in that way we can uh, use our script a lot easier to um, to make this um, to make this turret work are you still tracking with me here yes good because we're getting ready for some action let's create a new script just right click somewhere create JavaScript and let's call this one um, turret control as if there was a control room within the turret um, and then edit the script and first what we need is we need a target to look at we need to make our turret look at something so we'll need a target variable so let's go var um, uh, look at target and make this a transform variable okay uh, which is a vector 3 as we've learned in the previous parts and then in the update function which is called a couple million times a second uh, we need to make our turret look at so we can go transform dot look at and then it's gonna look at our look at target the variable that we made up top here now this piece of code is super simple but it's super brilliant in any other game engine that I've worked with before you would have a you would need a lot of calculations and angles and rotations and stuff but unity makes it real easy just go with a dot look at and then set the target okay so let's save this script go back to unity uh, let's make sure we don't have any errors let's drop this script not on the main small turret because we only want uh, the the actual head and the barrel to look at it so let's drop it on the second small turret and uh, so that the base uh, does not have this script attached okay um, so let me actually rename this to say um, uh, before, for example the top part okay that makes a little more sense and now of course we need to set the target still so let's uh, drag our worm on there and put that on as the transform variable okay let's run our game see what happens and as you can see our turret will constantly look at our worm how cool is this okay so he's constantly locking on um, he has the target in sight and this is pretty awesome of course in a real game he would not look at the target until he knows that there's danger imminent or the, you know when when the when it's alerted but for this for for right now we just we're just testing around so uh, this will work uh, just fine now last but not least let's turn our turret into a prefab by going to assets create and then an empty uh, prefab and this will help us to place multiple prefabs or turrets in our game let's call this small turret instead of only one and remember this one is empty because of the white box just drag the small turret on top of it and we have another prefab that we can use to create multiple instances of our um, turret so if you didn't get this video entirely, watch it a couple times, make sure you get everything and next we'll make our turret shoot.